The 3D procedural software for complex simulations and visual effects Houdini is well known for its, well, procedural abilities, and there is no other software that can challenge it in that regard. But when it comes to modeling, you may encounter some difficulties because it wasn't oriented for traditional modeling. Well, this tool will solve that problem for you, but what is it actually and what does it offer? So if you are interested, stick around to find out. I am sure most of you guys are already familiar with this plugin, and it is a very powerful tool and it is well known as well. And I'm talking about Modeler, the direct modeling plugin inside Houdini. This plugin was designed for fast and intuitive modeling in addition to creating and editing meshes. And its goal is to simplify the modeling process in Houdini by eliminating the needless and tiring node manipulation, which if you have ever used Houdini before, you will know what I'm talking about, as Houdini's native toolset for modeling is quite complex and tiring. And the plugin offers a comprehensive set of mesh editing tools that feel like the ones used in other 3D modeling software such as Blender, Max, or Maya. And in this video, I'm excited to talk about Modeler's new update or Modeler 2025. So Alexi, the developer behind this plugin, has completely reworked it from scratch, with the sole goal of making it seem and feel like a native part of Houdini, and not like a separate program running inside Houdini. The new update will allow you to use Modeler and its still set directly, and they are now stored on shelves, and also making it possible to assign hotkeys to them just like any other tool inside Houdini. The contextual menu has also been redesigned to look like Houdini's interface, and you can also detach and reposition it any way you want in the viewport. The update didn't feature only the plugin rework. It also introduced new retopology tools like Draw Patch, which works by covering a surface that you want to retopologize with a uniform all quad geometry that works by drawing a boundary directly on the surface. And the Polypen tool has been redesigned to work with a stylus. Additionally, there are also changes to the symmetrical modeling support, an automatic welding of edges and loops, and the option to flatten edge loops into a line base on the viewport's camera. And interestingly enough, the face tool used for creating polygons from the selected points or edges has also been redesigned to make it easier to fill in gaps in curved polygonal edges, which is great. And Modeler 2025 also includes other updates to already existing tools and features from sculpting to simple modeling, which you can read all about in the documentation of the software. You might also ask yourself what are the advantages or the point of modeling in Houdini rather than in a modeling-focused software like Maya or Blender? Well, the creator of this plugin answered this question with three key points. First, its ability to stay within Houdini and focus on its interface. And the second one is to leverage the procedural power or abilities of Houdini, which means at any stage, you can select any node in the history and edit it. Moreover, you can insert new operations in the middle of the tree. And the last point is that Houdini processes geometry data faster than Blender, Maya, or any other software, which if mastered can lead to faster results. And there you have it guys. If you are interested in this add-on or plugin, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.